When you are very, very close to the edge of anything, you have to meet your greatest fear. The greatest fear for me was probably dying. In 1999, I started the first company in the world to make commercial wingsuits for uh, licensed skydivers. You feel almost omnipotent. You, you feel that you can keep on flying and keep on flying and keep on flying. This is the reason why there has been so many accidents, that people get this feeling that, that they can keep on flying, while in reality we are always falling, we are, we are just gliding and, and you cannot keep flying forever. Testing a wingsuit can be very, very risky and a lot of people in the past uh, have died. There was one statistics before I started making wingsuits that 72 out of, was it 75 birdmen had died making, making different kind of designs. So I went to the bookstores and, and uh, the old, old bookstores especially. And uh, so I bought all the books that I could uh, find about the, the ancient bird men and about the way they fly. I wanted to read their stories. I wanted to read about their successes, but I especially wanted to read and, and study the reasons why they died. You test the wingsuit by making one then you, yeah, then you wear it and then, then you try it. And uh, if it's successful, you're alive and you, then you make another one, a better one, you improve it and, and so it goes. I think I'm still alive because um, I admit that I'm afraid to die, so I'm very calculated. <laughs> My first uh, jump, base jump with the wingsuit uh, was 1999 from Arco, Italy. Before you have a wingsuit, you're, you're, you're kind of like, almost like a sack of potatoes. We had an eight second free fall. And now with the wingsuit, uh, I was able to glide hundreds of meters forward uh, for 28 seconds. I stayed alive, but barely. There were a number of mistakes I learned from them and did like and uh, improve the things and um, yeah. Wingsuits have killed many, many, many people. Hundreds of people. Last year, uh, 2018, I think there were 32 or 33 base jumping de deaths. That's a lot. That's the most extreme and dangerous uh, sport in the world. When I started uh, selling the wingsuits, it was really important for me to have education for the people. I didn't sell the suits just to sell them. I, I created a, a kind of like a driving li driver's license system for skydivers. It has worked so well that uh, the World Aviation Association has uh, adopted that my, my method of teaching now. Like every tool in the world, you can, you can misuse. Like a, with a hammer, you can build a house or you can hit somebody in the head. Same thing with the wingsuit. You can use it to increase your chances of survival and, and for the great joy and pleasure and, and experience. But you can also misuse it. As the parachute opens and you just feel incredible joy because you really feel alive. You didn't die, you're alive. <laughs>